TGIF, baby. It is Friday, February 10th in the year 2025 still. Also known as the smartest year ever, my name is Gordy, and today we are talking about the Torino scale. The Torino scale. I think I tease, or I did tease it in yesterday's episode. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk about it today because I find it kind of interesting and I see it in the news more and more now that I've uh, heard that we got another asteroid possibly headed our way. So yeah, let's just... Let's get right into it. What do you say? Astronomers just flagged an asteroid 2024 YR4 at level 3 on the Torino scale. Is it harmless? Or is it about to ruin everyone's weekend? Or is it about to ruin everyone's life? Or is it about to ruin everyone's species? Not all asteroid threats are equal. Some burn up in the atmosphere. Others could wipe out civilization. So how do scientists rank these risks? Well, that's where the Torino scale comes in. It's a color-coded warning system that ranks asteroid impact risk from 0 to 10, combining an asteroid's size, speed, and likelihood of hitting Earth into a single number. The higher the number, the more we should worry. 0, no hazard. White. This asteroid is either too small to survive entry or guaranteed to miss Earth. 1, normal. Green, no real cause for concern, but astronomers will keep an eye out for it. 2 to 4, well that merits attention by astronomers. That's yellow. Could come close, but still unlikely to be a problem. 5 to 7, threatening. Orange, a significant chance of regional destruction if an impact occurs. Then 8 to 10, certain collisions. Red, bad, very bad. We're talking a mass devastation or an extinction level event. Since its creation in 1999, most known asteroids have stayed at level 0 or 1. There are a couple notable exceptions. In 2004, astronomers briefly ranked Apophis. A 1,200-foot-wide asteroid at Torino scale 4, meaning there was a real chance of impact in the year 2029. After further observations, Apophis was downgraded to a zero. Uh, more recently, though, and this is what started this whole rabbit hole for me, in December 2024, just this recent December, just recently, asteroid 2024 YR4 was discovered and assigned a Torino scale of 3, due to a 1.3% chance of impacting Earth on December 22, 2032. So, yeah, it could be a, a crappy Christmas in 2032. Ongoing observations are expected to refine this assessment over the years, though. You know, the last one, you know, we, we, they assessed it and went to zero. So that could happen here, too. So let's hope so. Uh, today, the Torino skill helps communicate asteroid threats without panic. Because let's be honest, if NASA ever really did just jump it up to 10, we would need a much bigger plan. Like, ugh, that would be terrifying. Just like, hey... We're going extinct, folks. Just, it's a 10. What should we do? Have sex? Like, that's pointless. We're going extinct. What do we do? Will, we be unifi will it be unifying? Probably not. Probably won't be. Let's just hope it doesn't get to that. All right? So there you have it. The next time you hear about a potentially hazardous asteroid, check the Torino scale first. Because I'm sure the news won't be talking about it. Uh, but yeah, if it's, if it's not 8 or higher, you can probably just keep your dinner plans. I think, you'll, I think you'll be good. Thank you to all of my sources, which can be found in the YouTube description. Please rate, follow, like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment. Let me know if you know about this. Let me know if you're afraid of this, this um, YR24 asteroid. I don't know. At Smartest Year Ever on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts for the full-length episodes. At Smartest Year Ever on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts for your daily clips. In the meantime, stay curious, stay clever on our quest to become the world's greatest conversationalist. I'll see you tomorrow in the smartest year ever.